Hi guys, welcome to a Guru channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about electrical transducers. In the last video, we had a discussion regarding introduction to transducer. So basically, a transducer is a device uh, which transforms energy signal or information from one form to another form. So these transducers are maybe an electrical transducer, a mechanical transducer or optical transducer, a magnetic transducer. So lot of varieties are there. But electrical and mechanical transducers are mostly used among those two electrical transducers have a lot of advantages so coming to a mechanical transducers so here are the some of the examples for mechanical transducers if you see the first one is bellows so for bellows if you apply the pressure it will be converted into a force depending upon the the intensity of pressure the output force will vary so similarly in a diaphragm also depending upon the pressure the output force is varies and in a, a bore down tube the pressure is converted into force so likewise a mechanical transducers convert a physical quantity into a, another physical quantity or a mechanical quantity so but the disadvantage of these mechanical transducers is or uh, we cannot transfer the output over a long distances or we cannot store the output data until unless if you convert that output mechanical quantity into another form so if you see so this is an example for the measurement of pressure so here two transducers are present so one is the bore down tube that one is the mechanical transducer so this bore down tube will convert the applied pressure into a displacement so then so that displacement will be converted into voltage by using an electrical transducer that is LVDT so depending upon the the core movement in LVDT depending upon the core movement in LVDT the output voltage will vary so likewise so here the output voltage uh, we can uh, transfer over a long distance and we can store the data so this can be possible if we convert the displacement into the another quantity so most of the uh, parameters which we have to measure are temperature humidity pressure velocity or acceleration flow rate so uh, most of the quantities are physical or mechanical quantities so but the direct measurement of these uh, physical or mechanical quantities are not possible hence so we have to uh, convert those uh, quantities into another form for easy measurement so that can be uh, done by electrical transducers so uh, in, on the other hand the electrical quantities such as voltage current resistance inductance and capacitance so can we conveniently measure and uh, they can uh, transfer easily and they can uh, store easily so in a modern day a lot of equipments a lot of closed loop systems are using these digital electronics so these digital electronics can store the electrical data very easily and they can transfer the electrical data over a longer distances so hence for a measurement of non electrical quantities so those are to be converted into electrical quantities first and then measured the function of converting from non electrical quantities to electrical quantities can be done by electrical transducers an electrical transducer is a sensing device by which a physical or mechanical or optical quantity to be measured is transferred directly with suitable mechanism into an electrical signal or simply so electrical transducer is a device which converts the non electrical quantities into an electrical quantities so because an electrical quantities having a lot of advantages as that we will see if you see here so these are the uh, resistance electrical transducer resistive transducers the first one is rtd 
or TD means the uh, resistance temperature detector and second one is the thermocouple and uh, third one is the thermistor. So here RTD the output resistance will directly proportional to the input temperature depending upon the temperature variations the resistance will vary. For the thermocouple so this thermocouple works on the principle of Seebeck effect or uh, depending upon the uh, temperature variations the output voltage will be vary. So in the thermocouple the input temperature can be directly converted into voltage. So thermistor is a negative temperature coefficient device. So the output resistance is uh, very sensitive to the input uh, temperature detector. So this one is the uh, capacitor transducers. So we know uh, the capacitance is inversely proportional to the uh, distance between the two plates. If the distance between the two plates varies, the capacitance is also varies. So depending upon the uh, displacement, the capacitance will increase or decrease. So likewise here, so we are converting uh, the displacement into change in capacitance by using the, this capacitor transducer. And this one is uh, another example for electrical transducer uh, that is uh, the piezoelectric crystal. So piezoelectric crystal is an active transducer. Uh, which converts the the force or a pressure into voltage directly it is an active transducer that means uh, this transducer will not require any external supply to convert the non electrical quantity such as pressure into an electrical quantities such as voltage another example for electrical transducer is a photo emissive cell so depending upon the uh, light intensity the output of voltage will vary. So here it is also an active transducer. We don't need any external supply uh, for converting light intensity into considerable voltage. And another example is a LVDT. So this is uh, an inductive transducer. The input displacement is converted into the change in inductance so that can be uh, directly converted into output voltage. So these are the uh, some of the examples for electrical transducers. So they convert the non-electrical quantities into electrical uh, quantities uh, depending upon uh, different uh, principles. So let's see the advantages of electrical transducers. So almost uh, all advantages are uh, the disadvantages of the mechanical transducers. So here in electrical transducer, so frictional effect is reduced to the minimal, minimum possible because uh, there are no moving parts in electrical transducers. In most of the electrical transducers, not having the moving parts. So that's why the frictional effect can be reduced to a minimum possible. And uh, mass to inertia effect is also reduced to minimal possible uh, because so in electrical transducers, the transducer size and weight is also uh, very less uh, because the non-existence of these rotating parts the inertia also will be less so very small power is required for controlling the electrical or electronic systems compared to the mechanical systems the electrical output can be altered nothing but we can amplify or attenuate at a, any desired level by using the amplifying or attenuator equipments. The output can be indicated or recorded remotely at a distance from the sensing medium. Nothing but we can convert the electrical quantities, the analog quantities into digital quantities and we can transfer over a, a thousands of kilometers and we can sense them uh, at a distance a thousands kilometers away. The output can be modified as per requirements of the indicating and controlling equipment. So if the indicating equipment is a digital display, uh, we can convert the electrical analog signals into a, uh, digital signals very easily. In a closed loop control systems also, so these output signals can be uh, converted into a required uh, form very easily. So these are the, the advantages of electrical signals or electrical transducers over other types of transducers.